These are seven technologies that will absolutely blow your mind. From self-healing cars to living concrete, join me as we explore some of the craziest emerging technologies that will change the world forever. Floating farms. Yes, that's right. They are literally making these floating Minecraft farms a reality. The demand for food has been growing, and it's not surprising that the world is going to need more food to keep up with this demand. And to keep up with it, architects and scientists have started developing what they call floating farms, and they expect this to supply food for millions of people by 2050. Just imagine, by 2050, there will be floating farms across the skylines of our cities and oceans. According to the architect Javier Ponce of Forward Thinking Architecture, 78 feet tall three-tiered structure with solar panels on top of the structure to provide energy would be able to grow a variety of vegetable over an area of 12 acres using not soil but nutrients suspended from liquid. The bottom layers of these towers could even be used to house fish farms. A single unit of the structure measuring 1,150 by 656 feet would be able to produce an estimated 8.1 tons of vegetables and 1.7 tons of fish per year. In fact, they've already made the world's first floating farm in 2019. As you approach the largest port in Europe, Port of Rotterdam, you see the world's very first floating dairy farm designed by Van Wingerden. It is a three-story structure where the bottom floor is below sea level. The cows live on the top floor but can wander down a ramp onto a field on the shore next to their floating home. But who knows? Floating farms may not be enough to solve our demand for food. Well, what about 3D printed food? Soon, you might even be able to print your own food and it will be 100% edible. 3D printed food is a meal prepared through an automated additive process. While this definition can be quite abstract, and it is, think of these pizza vending machines that surfaced back in 2015. The dough is prepared, extruded, topped with tomato sauce and cheese, and finally sent to the oven, all within the same machine. This process, in a way, can be considered a primitive 3D printing food process. However, don't get too excited yet, as 3D printed food is still relatively new, and it won't be another few years or so until this can actually be accessible to us. But just imagine coming home after a long day of work and turning on your 3D pizza maker and in two minutes, boom, you got yourself a fresh pizza. That would be almost as crazy as warp drives, a machine that will make it possible for us to travel faster than the speed of light. While this only exists in fiction for now, I thought I'd put it on the list because scientists have actually taken this possibility into consideration. It is theoretically possible and NASA is looking into it. In 1944, Miguel Alcubier, a Mexican physicist, described a device that would allow us to move faster than light by taking a advantage of a physics loophole. Dubbed the Alcubier warp drive, the ship would literally warp time and space around the craft, pulling us closer to our intended destination. While NASA is still working on the theory, Elon Musk is trying to make it a practical reality. Musk's efforts to go to Mars this decade is heating up, so the SpaceX founders is actively discussing warp drive as a way to make travel to the red planet more feasible. Dr. Harold Sony White, a NASA engineer, heads a team of physicists and engineers at NASA to create a device called the White Judy Warp Field Interferometer, which could lead to a warp drive. This device would theoretically create a tiny warp bubble, making it travel much faster, but not achieving light speed. Still, if it works, it could revolutionize space travel. Too bad that most of us will probably never get to experience this form of transportation, but one that we could experience are hyperloops, high-speed underground transportation systems, and they are currently being tested in America, taking you from New York to Washington DC in only 29 minutes compared to the two hours on a regular train. These trains work with passenger pods that are accelerated using electrical propulsion through a low pressure vacuum tube. The pod would float along the track using magnetic levitation and glide at airline speeds for long distances thanks to ultra low aerodynamic drag. It was conceptualized by Elon Musk back in 2013 and it's been almost a decade in the making and will hopefully soon be available to be used. Seems interesting, right? But not as interesting as living concrete, dubbed a Frankenstein material. Scientists have created living concrete by using photosynthetic microbes. Oh yeah, and it can reproduce. Developed at the University of Colorado, it is unlike traditional concrete made with sand and water. It incorporates two new ingredients, photosynthetic bacteria and gelatin. The bricks also have the advantage of regeneration. When half of a brick is mixed with additional nutrients, sand, gelatin, and warm water, the bacteria in the original piece can grow into added material. And in seven days, the scientists had two bricks instead of one. They repeated the test several times to show that the bacterial bricks could be used for exponential brick reproduction, eventually creating eight bricks from the original. Looks like there's no need to bring a truck full of cement to Mars. All we need is one cube of this living concrete. Oh yeah, and that's not the only thing that can heal itself. Self-healing cars will soon become a reality as well. In 2017, Lamborghini and MIT's Terzo Millenio unveiled the idea for a stunning concept supercar that could, in theory, heal itself. Even wilder, the car's whole body could be used for energy storage. Similar to the way the human body reacts to injury, if small cracks developed from a collision, the car's body would go into self-repair mode, preventing the cracks from growing and doing more damage to the car. But who knows when these technologies will ever be available to us. Five, 
10 years maybe, the future is uncertain and we should all be ready for technology to change our world at any given moment.